Repaying your mortgage in advance. Is this a good idea in 2022? Today is a very big day for us. It's that day in the year when we are going to the bank to repay in advance our credit loan. The process um, takes kind of like a month, so it's done in two steps, just because we are in Algarve and not in Lisbon or in Porto or in a major city. We are here in Algarve and here nothing happens. I mean, um, everything is sent to the Lisbon office. Uh, everything is approved there. So today we are going to sign the paper and um, establish the details but everything is approved in Lisbon and this takes kind of like a month. So yeah, it's a big day for us. I have here my uh, morning coffee and we are uh, ready to hit the road. Like I said, it's like a 40 to one hour uh, road. We are going slow and our bank is in Lagoa and today it's road tip people, road tip. This month is a big month for us. This is the month when uh, we are going to the bank to repay a portion of our mortgage in advance. But before going to the bank, we started to discuss among ourselves, is this still a good idea? Because for the ones who don't know the story, when we bought the house, this house in 2019, we bought this house with a mortgage and this mortgage has a repayment uh, period very large of 30 years initially was 30 years and when we bought the place we said from the start we are not gonna pay this mortgage in 30 years we are going to pay it in six years so each year we are going to the bank and repay a chunk of the mortgage in advance and this was before everything happened and like two years ago. Also, we made this plan because uh, when we moved here to Portugal, we didn't know if we can keep our streams of income, our jobs or uh, businesses in Romania. And we thought that uh, it was wise to pay uh, this loan before um, <laughs> we run out of money so we can control uh, better the situation. But now the things are changing because with everything that happens in the world, we were able to work remote and online and keep our business businesses and our stream of income. So like I said, this mortgage was for a period of 30 years and what we paid last year, we were able to shave like six years off out of the total period. And with what we are going to pay this year, like 20,000 euros, we are able to shave like four years out of the total period. So at the end of this operation, this year we are going to have left like uh, 70 years of our period for our mortgage, which is still a very long period, you know, to have this uh, over your head, uh, especially in the world uh, we are living now. We don't know what's happening tomorrow, uh, what is happening with the economy and everything. And it's a big uh, stress, you know, to have uh, this mortgage over your head, especially because um, I never had a mortgage before. So it's my first time and it's a little bit stressful. I would prefer it to just to pay it and get rid of it. And I know a lot of people are thinking this way. But before we got to the bank, we started talking and uh, assessed the situation and realized that all of this decision to repay the bank in advance is based mostly on emotion, on our fear of the future, on our need to be safe and not have this worry of this expense quite a large expense. We pay like 500 euros a month. This is our mortgage rate. And basically I need to be careful, but careful is not always smart. And why I'm saying that? Because we have an interest rate very, very low. This year, our interest rate is 0.697. And this rate was actually reduced from last year when we have an interest rate of 0.7 yearly. And this is per year. So the interest rate in Portugal uh, is very low at the moment and it has been for the last, I don't know, five years, something like that, maybe more. Our interest rate is calculated every year at the beginning of the year. So this year in January, it was quite a nice surprise to uh, discover that our interest rate was lowered even more because with everything that happens in the world, with the economy and US and everything, we were expecting for that uh, rate to increase. It was a slightly decrease, but it was a nice surprise and it's better to, uh, to be lower than higher, right? 
right? So this interest rate is very low, practically free money in our opinion. And making this assessment, we decided that this year in 2022, we are going to focus more on our investments rather than repaying the bank. We are still allocate a portion of our income to the credit to repay the credit in advance, but the big portion of our savings we are allocating to investments. If you ask me, at such a lower rate, we shouldn't pay the bank anything in advance, but we still do it because of our emotion, because of our fears, our need to be safe, and because you don't know what is going to happen next year. So this year you can have a low interest rate, but with everything that happens in the world, maybe next year the rate can even double or increase significantly so we said that it's best to divide the money and pay the bank also in advance but not such a big portion like we did before the question is what you are going to do because like you see this decision is based both on numbers and on emotion it should be based only on numbers but we are humans i have emotion and fears and we are conditioned in that way and even if you don't want to you are going to factor in some emotion in this decision so what's best for you i put together like some factors pros and cons why you should pay your mortgage in advance and why you shouldn't pay your mortgage in advance and maybe you can sit and have a discussion with your partner and if you don't have a partner maybe you have a discussion with yourself and see what suits you best reason number one it would be that mortgage rates are now at a record low so like i said free money even if you are not investing your money and you don't plan to invest your money in the future, the cost of this mortgage is very, very low. So it would be sensible to do anything else with the money, maybe not investing, but paying maybe credit cards or something else. In this moment, it has no sense because the cost is so low for this mortgage. It makes no sense to give the money back to the bank. Reason number two, it would be that it makes more sense to invest your money rather than give it to the bank because when you are giving it to the bank, you are essentially gaining the interest rate which in our case is 0.697 per year. And if we are shaving like four years, you gain this interest rate or four years. If you are investing your money, you are gaining the returns of that investment. So if you are investing in the stock market, you know that uh, the average return is like seven, eight percent per year. But in the last two years, the return were insane. I'm not saying this will happen in the future. It would probably not happen in the future. But if you were to invest your money two, two years ago or uh, three, four years ago, you would have insanely results from the stock market. Maybe you are fearful. Maybe you want to uh, invest in something else like gold or something else. I don't know, bonds. But the idea is that you are going to see a much better return if you invest your money, whatever you are investing in, then just give it to the bank in this moment, at least in our case, at least in Europe, when, uh, uh, where the rates are pretty, pretty low, as I said, at um, maximum low, historic low in this moment. So let's talk now why you should pay your mortgage in advance. And here we have some reasons. No more monthly payments. This can be a quite a hassle and a stress to know that uh, you have to repay a big chunk of your um, income every month to the bank. And if you lose your income or something happens, this is a big stress. And if you pay your mortgage in advance, you are going to get rid of this. Then you are going to be owning your house. So uh, you are going to be owner. Uh, no matter if you have an income or not, your house is yours and you have that security. And overall, the third reason, it would be that overall you are going to have peace of mind and you are going to be able to make some decisions like uh, move across the world, take a sabbatical or doing something for yourself. If you own your house or if you don't have a mortgage, you are going to feel more free to do the things that you're going to want to do with your life rather than work a job and pay the mortgage. So you see, analyzing pros and cons, this decision is very personal. It depends on where 
you are at right now in your life and what are your priorities. But I cannot help but observe that the pros of uh, paying a mortgage are based more on sentiment and the cons of paying a mortgage are based more on numbers. So at the end of the day, in this moment, it makes more sense to invest your money or keep your money for yourself rather than give it to the bank because the cost of keeping your money for yourself is very low and investing your money, you are going to gain much, much more than just give it to the bank and gain that interest rate back. Us, because we are very caution people and two people in this decision, we reach a compromise and this compromise is to give a small portion back to the bank just to be safe and the other rather large, the other portion of our savings to invest. And this is uh, what we are going to do in 2022. If you are thinking to buy a property in Portugal, I can help you and recommend you a good uh, agent who can help you find the property of your dreams. And if you need a mortgage, I also can recommend you a broker to help you with that. And I know the um, sentiment overseas is that it's very hard to get a mortgage in Portugal. And I'm here to tell you that it's not very hard. It's just a little bit of hassle and a little bit of uh, bureaucracy. But this is why you get a broker to help you with that. And this broker, you are not going to pay. So you don't have to invest any money this broker is going to get the money from the bank. The bank is going to pay this broker, so you are not losing anything. If you are to uh, hear more about how we got our mortgage, I'm going to leave you here um, a story about uh, how we got our home so you can um, have more information about our experience. I hope this video helps you to make a decision. Leave it in the comments if you have questions or any kind of assessment or your personal decision or personal um, experience because for sure it's going to help others. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!